The representative this year is going to come by way of Douglas, Georgia. This dog will have its second birthday on October 5th of this year. That's going to be Grand Night Champion PR's Sundown that is sired by Power Pack and out of hardwood she's not easy. Owned by Ashley Guthrie and John Strickland. And this will also be our National Grand Night Champion of Automotes this year. Automotes is probably one of the biggest UKC event. And uh, it's very prestigious to win. And uh, we finally won it. We've, we've hunted it several times uh, with no luck and uh, ended up with the youngest dog we ever hunted in it and, and won it. I guess when it hit home is about the last four minutes of the cast and you know you got this thing won. Um, and and that, that's when you kind of get a little pumped up and a little excited. Uh, you know, you, you chase that shot of adrenaline, I guess, hunting these dogs for so long. And, and uh, so if, if I had to say when a sight, excitement built, I would have to say it's the last three, four minutes of the cast, actually. His name is Sundown on the UKC papers. We called the dog America's Project Apollo. And Ashley Guthrie, a partner, come up with that. And, and uh, it's kind of kind of stuck with him. He's definitely a project, so he got that part of the name right. He's young, he's not two years old yet. Uh, when Ashley found a dog, I was in the process of, of selling a few dogs that we had. He sent me a text at like 11 or 12 o'clock at night, I was out hunting a, a different dog, and he sent me a text with all these credentials and what the dog had won so far and what he was qualified for. I was like, no, I'm good, I don't need anything. Uh, so Ashley didn't say a word. We've been partners on a bunch of dogs, and. and uh, he didn't say a single word. He just left a text unread, you know, didn't, didn't say anything. So about three days later, uh, the dog shows up at the house. He delivered him to the house because he was, location-wise, he was closer to me than he was actually. He said, hey, can you keep him here for about a week? And I said, sure. So I hunted him the first night and he did typical pup stuff. He, you know, he, he treated a coon, but he didn't look super flashy. Um, I let him stay in the pen a couple nights. I hunted him again. and. He treated a coon and again, but he didn't look flashy. Well, Ashley picked him up and took him to a, to a hunt. And uh, it was a week long hunt and he treed, I think it was like 13 for 13 during that time. Well, I had sold everything I was hunting and we own another dog named Sunday's Best Tank together. So uh, I called him, I said, hey, you need to bring me Tank. I need a dog to hunt. So I guess I'm gonna campaign Tank. And uh, when he showed up, he had Tank and he had this pup. And I said, what are you going to do with that pup? He goes, well, I don't know. i got to find somebody to hunt him. I'm like, well, Tank's a six-year-old dog, and I could probably do more for the pup, so just leave him at the house, and I'll hunt him for a month or so. So I laid him up and kind of buddied up with him and took him out, and the first night I hunted him, he was four for four. Um, the next night, it was storming. I, I turned loose, and it was storming. I found him two miles after a storm, just lightning and thunder, and he was treed, and he was, had a coon. Next night I carried him, he was five for five. So I'm like, man, this, this pup's got it, you know? And uh, I'm originally from Savannah, Georgia. And being down there on the coast, those coons, I don't know if they smell a little different or, or but it's just a different world. And, and out of, since I was 11 years old, anything that didn't grow up and was raised there, it took them five or six or eight days to get where they were accurate. So I hauled him to Savannah, Georgia, 10 hour trip in the dog box. I got down there at 2.30 in the morning and I wasn't tired. So versus going to my place and going to sleep, I said, hey, I'm gonna turn him loose. And I turned him loose that night four times. He treated four coons. And the next night I turned him loose seven times. He treated seven coons. He was 11 for 11. So at that point I was kind of like, man, I go back and I look at my text and I'm like, I wonder if he actually got that. Maybe that didn't go through, you know, that, that heck no. So uh, I hunted him a couple more nights. And when he got to about 32 in a row, uh, I called him, I said, you want the good news or the bad news? And he said, well, what's the bad news? I said, the bad news, you're not getting this dog back. <laughs> he said, what's the good news? I said, I guess I need to mail you a check and you fill it out when you get there for my part of him. Hey bud, just fill the check out. I'm your Huckleberry.